your tears, gorgeous. I have returned. All right, everything with more than two legs start trembling, because the Daxtonator is in the building. In 2001, Naughty Dog, the creators of Crash Bandicoot, wanted to make a game to show off the platforming power of the PlayStation 2. This inspiration gave birth to Jack and Daxter, the precursor legacy, one of the first 3D free-roaming platformers. The game introduced gamers to the strong and silent Jack and Daxter, his wisecracking best friend. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Voiced by Max Casella, also known as Benny from The Sopranos and Vinny from Doogie Howser, MD. What? At the start of the game, Daxter fell into a pool of dark ego and was transformed into an otzel, a small animal that's a cross between an otter and a weasel. <laughs> From there, Jack and Daxter set out to save the world from this dark eco, discover the secrets of the great precursors, and return Daxter to his human form. Okay, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. The precursor legacy was a huge success. Fans and critics loved everything about it. It looked fantastic, it was original and funny, but above all else, it was a blast to play. The amusing thing about Daxter was that he offered little when it came to gameplay. Let me handle this, Jack. Watch my finesse and style. Compared to the other buddy platformers like Ratchet and Clank and Banjo-Kazooie, Daxter just held on tight while Jack did all the jumping and fighting. But even though he didn't deliver much in the combat department, he did provide the game's necessary comic relief. Woo! Baby, it's your breath! And by accident, started the two heroes on their trilogy adventure. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you! Get in there! Naughty Dog quickly got to work on the sequel, and in 2003, Jack 2 hit stores. After stepping through a rift gate at the end of the Precursor Legacy, Jack and Daxter ended up in a place called Haven City, which they later discovered to be the future. Jack was immediately captured and thrown into prison. After two years of being a test subject, Daxter finally freed Jack. Hey buddy, you seen any heroes around here? And the dynamic duo set out to overthrow Baron Praxis, Haven's own evil tyrant. I'd like to give him a touching moment. Jack too surprised a lot of people, as the series had definitely grown up. Remind me not to piss you off! Jokes were more suggestive, and there was a lot more action. Naughty Dog also created an open-world environment with RPG-style elements. Jack could battle random thugs or hijack any vehicle, all of which resulted in being chased by the Crimson Guards. Jack also spoke for the first time in Jack 2. I'm gonna kill Praxis! <laughs> While Daxter remained the wisecracking sidekick and even mocked Jack about his newfound voice. Sorry, he's new to the whole conversation thing. Overall, Jack 2 really upped the ante for platforming games, and it solidified Jack and Daxter's place near the top of the genre. Yeah, I guess you guys are in. Just over a year after the release of Jack 2, Naughty Dog released Jack 3 as the last game in the series. Oh, great. Thanks for the pep talk. As the final chapter opened, Jack and Daxter were left for dead in the desert outside of Haven City for crimes they didn't commit. With nowhere to turn, they proved themselves worthy to the desert people. Ah, then he is dangerous, and that could be useful. You can call me Orange Lightning. <laughs> they discovered that a dark matter ship was headed directly towards their planet, and the only way to destroy it was to use the planetary defense system at the planet's core. On their journey, they also found out that the legendary precursors were Otzels, like Daxter. I think you've been out in the sun a little too long. At the end of the game, these furry friends offered to return Daxter to his original form. He declined, having grown used to his new look, and simply asked for a pair of pants. Oh yeah, now we're talking! Most of the Jack fans figured that once Jack 3 completed the trilogy, it would be the last time they'd get to play as their favorite PS2 heroes. But Naughty Dog took the series in a surprise direction in 2005 with Jack X Combat Racing. I can't believe you two are still alive! Yeah, what a surprise. A lot of the gameplay in the groundbreaking trilogy involved fast vehicles loaded with weapons, so the transition from adventure platformer to action racer was an easy one. You ruined my story! It also retained the same attitude and sense of humor Naughty Dog veterans had come to expect, along with an outrageous storyline that only Jack and Daxter could get themselves caught up in. In 2006, 
Some of the founders of Naughty Dog created Ready at Dawn Studios, and they've been working on moving their popular franchise to the PSP. Tell us the one about how you can knock guard silly with a single blow. What, I can? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're giving gamers complete control of Daxter for the first time and pushing Sony's handheld to its platforming limits. Just give me the bug juice, pops, and make it a double. Daxter is set between Jack 1 and 2, which means we'll finally get to see what he was up to while Jack was stuck in prison, and how Daxter eventually frees him. Don't worry, Jack. I'll save you before you know it. As a little guy in a big city, Daxter is forced to seek employment. With no job experience, he has no choice but to become an exterminator. I'll hose down every creepy crawly that moves. As he digs through Haven's sewers and back alleys in search of a mysterious infestation of metal bugs, he has to prove he's not just a sidekick anymore, but a full-fledged action hero. Oh, I can handle the pressure, baby. Ah! Since Daxter is roughly one-third human size, he can go a lot of places Jack can't. He can climb up walls, swing a mighty fly swatter, and use his bug spray gun to float on air as well as attack. Dude! And in a rare glimpse into Daxter's subconscious, the game features dream sequences that play out some of his wild and pop culture referencing fantasies. Dude! Outside of the single player, the game also has minigames and unlockable content from Jack X Combat Racing that you can upload to your PS2. Dude. <laughs> While the Jack series has come a long way since it ushered in the PS2 five years ago, Daxter is a new addition to the series. Alive and kicking! Kicking what, that is! It's simply an outstanding PSP game. It brings back old school platforming and everything fans love about the franchise. Solid level design, lots of vehicles, and of course, Daxter's big mouth. Suddenly they came at me from the left, so I moved to the right with a chop and a kick and a... <laughs> is a heroic exit.